Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a quick and easy logarithmic equation with natural logarithm or ln. So we have this equation ln e to the power x plus 12 equals 2x. And I'll be presenting sort of like three different methods, even though some of these methods are very similar. I'll be presenting three appro approaches. I'll also show you the graph and how we can use the graph to understand what's going on here. All right, let's start with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to use substitution. So let's go ahead and call this uh, thing inside the parentheses y. This implies that e to the power x can be written as y minus 12. And then if you ln both sides, x is going to move to the front and you're going to get ln e, which is 1. So x becomes ln y minus 12. So we were able to write x in terms of y by using the substitution method because that's what we would like to uh, substitute on the right hand side. And uh, by making this assumption, we get the following ln y equals 2x, which is 2 times ln y minus 12. Obviously, we kind of have to check the domain here. Uh, y minus 12, uh, you know, needs to be greater than 0. Y needs to be greater than 0, so on and so forth. But don't worry, well, we're going to plug it in and check uh, if it works. So this two, normally, you know, when we have a power like this, we get to move it to the front and we can do the opposite. So we can go ahead and make it a power. So we get ln y equals ln y minus 12 quantity squared. Obviously, the domains of these two functions are different. But again, we're going to check that at the end because one of them, y minus 12 squared cannot be negative, but y minus 12 can be negative. That's why they're different. So now at this point, we have lns on both sides, which means that these two things are equal, or we can do e to the power of both sides, which is going to give you the same thing. So we get y minus 12 quantity squared equals y. And if you expand it, you get y squared minus 24y plus 144 equals y. And to subtract the y, you get y squared minus 25y plus 144. So you're basically looking for two numbers whose product is 144 and whose sum is negative 25. And those numbers are negative 16 and negative 9. So in other words, this is factorable. And you can write it as y minus 9 times y minus 16 equals 0. Great. So from here, we get the following solutions, y equals 9 and y equals 16. But y is e to the power x plus 12. So we can go ahead and back substitute that. So this is equal to e to the power x plus 12. And this implies e to the power x equals negative 3, which makes no sense at all because e to the power x is always positive for real values of x. So we can't really get any real solutions from here. What about y equals 16? That gives us e to the power x plus 12 equals 16, which implies e to the power x equals 4. And at this point, you can use um, definition of logs or just ln both sides. You're going to get x equals ln 4 from here. Great. So we only get one solution, which is ln 4. And the other solution just doesn't work. And let's go ahead and look at the second method. Second method is very similar to the first one but uh, it could be considered different because we are using substitution in a different way. So let me rewrite the original problem, ln e to the power x plus 12 equals, ln e to the power x plus 12 equals 2x. Now I'm going to replace e to the power x with something, all right? So let me go ahead and do that. So this is going to be, let's call that z, how about that? So z equals e to the power x, which means if you ln both sides, you get ln z equals x. Great. So now we get ln z plus 12 is equal to 2x, which is 2 ln z. Again, we can move the 2 and, you know, it becomes ln z squared. And from here, we get the, the basic quadratic z squared equals z plus 12. Now, Think about this for a minute. Like you don't really have to turn it into a full quadratic and use the formula or try to factor it. Think about it. Like, are there any integers that works? Um, and you immediately, hopefully, see that that z equals four is going to work, right? And when z equals four works, uh, something interesting happens. That kind of like think about the consecutive integers, but one of them is negative. 
Anyways, it just works when uh, the coefficient of z is one or negative one. The other number that works is negative three because negative three squared is nine and negative three plus 12 is equal to nine. There's only two solutions, but z is e to the power x. So you gotta remember, and I could have checked that early on like, hey, z has to be positive, but that's no problem. We can always check it later. So z needs to be positive. So e to the power x equals negative three is not gonna give us anything real. So z equals four is the only one that works. And that indicates e to the power x equals four. And that just means x equals ln four as before, which is the only solution. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. And I know these two methods are very similar and also they, they may look like overkill, but the idea is um, to practice the rules and, you know, substitution, which is important in general. So you can use definition of logs here for this, or you can do e to the power both sides. So what, what do I have? What's the original problem? ln e to the power x plus 12 is equal to 2x. And if you, what do I mean by definition? So the definition of logs goes like this. If you have something like this, where b is the base, basically, if you're trying to solve for x, x is found by um, starting at the base and going to the a and making the a an exponent. So it's kind of like b to the power a equals x. That's what logs mean. So if you're trying to understand what logs are, this is what logs are. Okay, in a nutshell. So from here, the base is not written, so it's e for the natural logarithm. So I'm supposed to go this way. That means e to the power 2x equals e to the power x plus 12. So this is kind of like exponential, but at the same time, you can turn this into a quadratic equation by replacing e to the power x with something. How about calling it t? So we use a different variable for each method. This becomes t squared equals t plus 12. As before, we get t equals 4 and t equals negative 3 from here. And t is e to the power x. Therefore, this gives us x equals ln 4. Again, by lning both sides or using the definition of logs, uh, we get that. But unfortunately, uh, we don't really get anything from here. So ln4 happens to be the only solution to this equation. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of these two functions and see how we can approach uh, this problem from a graphical perspective. So I kind of graphed these two together, ln e to the power x plus 12 and y equals 2x. And why do I have y equals x? I'm going to explain that a little bit. But notice that these two functions seem to intersect. I say seem to because we can never guarantee, right? Unless you have proof. They seem to intersect at a single point, which is the white dot. And the x-coordinate uh, happens to be 1.386. But notice that ln4 is pretty close to it. Obviously, this is by no means a proof or a solution. But it just shows you what we found. It's kind of verified. But also notice that the, um, the dotted graph, which belongs to y equals x, uh, plays an important role because uh, why, why do those graphs kind of seem to intersect? So as x increases uh, without bound, uh, you'll notice that our blue graph, which is y equals ln e to the power x plus 12, kind of gets close to y equals x. It, it's kind of becomes similar, more similar. Why? Because if you think about it, y equals ln e to the power x is the same as y equals x, right? Pretty much. Uh, but we have ln e to the power x plus 12. So when x is super duper large, this is going to be close to ln e to the power x, which is x. So that's why they're going to behave uh, very similarly. Obviously, it's not going to be the same line, but it's going to be super duper close. Therefore, uh, and another fact that we need to talk about is this grows real fast. Uh, well, actually, not as fast as the line, I should say. So there's no way it can turn and intersect this again. So there's only going to be one intersection point, and that's going to happen at x equals ln 4. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and. Bye-bye.